Uh, let's look at this uh, discrete uh, random variable problem. We have two random variables x and y which are independent and both of them are geometric with the common parameter p. That means probability of x equal to k, uh, y equal to m is probability of x equal to k multiplied by probability of y equal to m and each of them are of the form p q to the power k pq to, uh, PQ to the power m so this is p squared q to the power k plus m and the k m both go from 0 1 2 3 etc that's independent geometry that's the problem what we want is what is the probability of z equal to k and w equal to m where z and w are given as uh, so z is of course uh, a minimum of x comma y equal to k and w is x minus y equal to m you want to find this but remember because uh, minimum since x and y are non-negative we know k goes from 0 1 2 3 etc it only really takes non-negative values but x uh, m which is x minus y can take 0 if x equal to y can be positive if x is greater than y and can be negative if x is less than y so this takes all 0 plus minus 1, 0 plus minus 2, etc. So that's the range of those values. Now, especially when you in, when you have nonlinear functions, it's uh, especially minimum and maximum, it's best to condition it on x greater than y and x less than y because if x is greater than or equal to y, minimum is just y, and if x is less than y, then minimum is y. So we are going to write this as <coughs> probability of z equal to k w equal to m x greater than y plus probability of z equal to k w equal to m x less than y. Notice that I haven't done anything. I broke up the whole region into two mutually non-exclusive uh, regions, some of two non-overlapping uh, regions. And whose, uh, so that's a partition whose uh, union is the whole space. But when x is greater than y, look at here, the minimum is going to be y. So we can rewrite this as prob uh, probability of y equal to k here. And w is of course given to be x minus y equal to m. x is greater than or equal to y plus probability of when x is less than y, minimum is of course a a x. And W is still x minus y equal to m, x less than y. Well, let's substitute the values here. Notice that y is k, so y is k, so x will be k plus m. So this is probability of x equal to k plus m. Because I want to write this in terms of x and y and make use of this uh, property. And y is of course given to be k. And here x which is k plus n is greater than or equal to y which is k uh, plus probability of x is k and if I substitute this k here then y is going to be k minus m and here x is less than k minus m. Notice that this is the k, k plus m is greater than k is so I am saying that m is positive and here this is the same as saying that m is strictly negative so we have this answer we can uh, if you write for m positive it's only this term then it is simply probability of x equal to k plus m and y equal to k and if m is <coughs> negative it's the other term so that will be probability of x equal to k y equal to k minus m but notice that when you have x and y that becomes the product so this now becomes the product so this can be written as now probability of x equal to k plus m multiplied by probability of y equal to k which will turn out to be p q to the power k plus m multiplied by p q to the power k for m positive so this is p squared q to the power 2k plus m when m is non-negative and here it is probability of x equal to k 
probability of y equal to k minus m when m is negative so that's p q to the power k p q to the power here k minus m so that's p squared q to the power 2k minus m when m is negative so notice when m is negative minus m is positive so if you want we can also write this as p squared q to the power 2k plus absolute value of m k equal to 0 from here you know 1 uh, 2 etc and m equal to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 etc so this gives us the joint density function but maybe now quickly i will also uh, figure out using this so this is the joint density function of z equal to k and w equal to m and let me use so this to find out their marginals and then of course we can check if you want uh, whether they, these two random variables are independent or not z and m i'm sorry z and w i don't see any reason but we can check it <coughs> as a curiosity so probability of z equal to k is we need to integrate out of m so probability of z equal to k w equal to m but m goes from minus infinity to plus infinity so if i plug in this solution that will be p squared i pull out the k terms outside then you have q to the power m m goes from minus infinity to plus infinity this is p squared q to the power 2k m equal to 0 you get 1 m equal to 1 you m equal to 1 and minus 1 you get uh, q q so that be 2 q plus next term m equal to 2 minus 2 etc but this <coughs> can be written as 2q multiplied by 1 plus q etc which is 2q over 1 minus q which is 2q over p so if i if i add that to the 1 i need to add it to the 1 plus 1 so this is p plus 2q over p p plus q is 1 so this is 1 plus q over p and if I plug it in here, I get the so p p cancels. I get the answer to be p multiplied by one plus q multiplied by q to the power k two k. K goes from zero one two three etc. <clears throat> now similarly, that's the marginal density function of z, which is minimum of x comma y. And similarly, the marginal density function of w is now we have to sum up on k. K goes from zero through infinity what is it p squared q to the power 2k q to the power m so i pull out the p squared m term outside this is k equal to 0 through infinity q to the power 2k which i can write it like this so this is p squared q to the power m 1 over 1 minus q squared but this is 1 minus q into 1 plus oh, 1 minus q multiplied by 1 plus q 1 minus q is p, so p p cancels, so you get p over 1 plus q multiplied by q to the power m. m goes from uh, 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2, etc. So in this case, we got a break because if you multiply these two, probability of z equal to k and probability of w equal to m, notice that uh, where is the answer? This. 1 plus q term cancels with this so you get uh, p squared uh, q to the power 2k plus absolute value of m but that's the same as this so we conclude that this is the same as probability of z equal to k and w equal to m of course this is the relation for independence so here we conclude that z and w are also independent which is uh, a bit surprising So that's the this is the uh, this is the unexpected uh, uh, result which is uh, true in this case. So, in a nutshell, this is the theorem. If you have two independent geometric random variables with a common parameter p, if you consider the functions min of x comma y and x minus y, these two random variables, even though they come from the same, they are statistically independent. That's, the, that's what we have just rigorously proved. Here is the joint density function. 
here is the marginal density function of uh, z and here is the marginal density function of uh, q and uh, here is the joint density function of uh, uh, z and w remember joint density function you need to include the range also and uh, the two random variables c and w are independent 